What is up YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, today we have a pretty cool video. Uh, just kind of a little insight of customizing stuff that I like to do, stuff I've been kind of messing with. And it's all about getting it to look like the OG. Beautiful shape of the OG as we know. That's not what we're working about today. But as a lot of you know, uh, the original Air Jordans, they had what we consider like a matte finish. So when you look at the midsole, you see the nice flat, like all the Air Jordans that you think back when you're, when you're a kid, uh, maybe you're in high school or whatnot. Um, but they had that nice smooth, there wasn't paint lines and all that stuff that we see in a lot of modern day retros. But another thing we see on, met, on a lot of the uh, newer modern day retros is a high amount of gloss. So I think that you guys will appreciate this look. Looks definitely more like the OG. So I, I did these just a little bit ago. Um, so you see the, all the panels. The black are very matte finished, even the back heel. And it's a very simple process actually. Um, we'll go over in a little bit. There's a little bit of a sheen to the to the red and white on the midsole, but I didn't bother with it. But just to show you guys with the OG on the heel, how good it really looks. So it's pretty, it's pretty spot on. You know, it looks really, really well. Um, some paints obviously are more glossy and shinier than others. Um, I really, really like how this turned out. And right now we're gonna slide the OG to the right, and we have the retro I haven't done yet. You can kind of see it definitely has a sheen to it. And you just turn it, you can see there's definitely a lots of gloss, even on the front portion here. Let's flip it here. So you see all that glossiness. So that's basically what we're what we're getting rid of is that gloss. You can see the matte finish right here. And what do we use is the question. I had a lot of people asking me, do you strip it down? Do you repaint it? Nope. It's quite simple. It's Angelus Matte Four Coat. So in the next bit, we're actually going to show you guys how to apply it. I am by far, I am not a professional. If I can do this, anybody can do it. But it's just all trial and error. It's thin coats. It's very light. Um, this actually is another layer of protection for your midsoles, which is kind of cool too. And it's flexible. Uh, you can use all, all materials, polyurethane, um, you know, phylon, leather, whatever. Um, so plastics. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing stuff. Uh, so all their stuff I've seen and I've used, it actually leaves a little bit more of a, a sheen to it. And this stuff straight out of the bottle, you don't have to mix it with anything. It leaves a nice matte finish, as you guys can see in the dried final product. If I just tilt it to you, you can kind of see. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how they turned out. Even like with the OGs and stuff, you'll see little little um, imperfections here and there. Take this for instance, you know, that's on the original. So nothing, nothing huge. Um, so yeah, don't beat yourself up and just practice it. And uh, we'll show you guys next how exactly to apply it. All right, here we have the left shoe that we haven't done yet. All the black portions basically. And you'll see the, the four, the mat, Four coat. I'm going to basically put the smallest amount. I mean, tiny. Like you can see on the tip of the brush, there's barely any. So very, very light coat. And basically, you'll see just small brushes go both directions. So you don't see like, you know, all the lines. And then I kind of touch the corner here. I don't do any tape or nothing. You know, it's not going to hurt the paint. Um, but this is basically how I did the other one. Just nice. Take your time. Don't rush it. Just brush all the way to the corner. And even this thinnest coat will have a big substantial difference. We'll probably have a little time lapse here to where we'll just come back and look at it and see how it looks. But that's one portion. You don't want to see it like, you know, beat it up to where there's like a lot. And you don't want to go over it again either. You want to just let it dry. You don't be like touching it up. If it's kind of drying, just let it dry and see how it looks. So I'm doing the middle portion now. And you can see it looks, you know, just touching it up very little. And if you get too much on your brush, you can always dab it with a paper towel. Um, you don't want to make too many streaks, like I said, if it's drying. But 
it's going to look wet. As long as it's thin, it should look pretty good. As you can see, look at the bottom here. It's starting to dry already. There's a few little light spots that looks wet, but we'll see how that looks in another few minutes. As you can see, it kind of like beads up a little bit. So just kind of brush back and forth, kind of work the edge. It's light touches, very light touches. You don't want to get it on the leather necessarily. It's not really going to show up either way, but again, it's very low risk. Um, and don't don't try to do too much at once either. Like as you see, it's pretty it's pretty much half the back end of the midsole I did here already. But just don't rush it. Take your time. Nice thin coat. If you feel like it's kind of getting thin on the the brush, then you can just add the slightest amount. Even I'll, I'll even like take it and just put like on the corner of the tip, like not even the entire tip of the brush, just like on on the right side. So you see, it's just got a little bit. And again, if it's too much, like I didn't like that, I'm gonna dab it off with a paper towel. And then come back and just kind of smoothen it out. Go both directions. We'll just kind of turn it, make it easy. You can get better angles and just kind of touch into the surface, into the cracks, into the corners. Again, if it's too much on your brush, this stuff goes a long way. It's, it's a lot in the bottle. Let's take a look at the side now. That's drying, and that looks damn near perfect. It's still a little wet here and there, but as you get to see, it's actually drying quite nicely. Nice matte finish. You see I'm getting down to the crack here, too, by the midsole. Just light touches. A little is going to go a long way. and kind of put the tip of my brush down in between there, even right here. Just kind of follow it through all the way to the bottom. You can kind of brush if it's a little thicker. As long as it's still wet, you can kind of kind of drag some of the other stuff. But again, I just did like a small portion. I'm not trying to like go across and see it's all glossy here. You can see the, the sheen of the midsole from factory finish. We'll see how this one turns out. So I'm just going to add just a little bit more to my brush. Very small amount. And I'll start like right here. And just kind of go down all the way to the outsole and then back across. Nice thin layers, kind of crisscross it up to the leather, kind of right at the edge. You don't want to start off right on the edge of the leather because you might you might kind of build it up onto it, if that makes sense. So as I'm going through the middle, now you see I'm touching to the top edge and then to the edges at the bottom. So I'm taking my time, working my way toward the toe box and just always look for if you kind of lose your spot just look where it actually looks wet not the sheen once it starts drying again don't go over it as you can see i can just kind of touch the smallest spot and there's probably just enough so like when you have these tight little areas you can just kind of dab it you're not going to see anything really affecting paintbrush marks We'll let this dry and then we'll check out how it looks in a few minutes. All right, we're letting the back one dry. We finished that up. Here's the one I did earlier today. Uh, so again, it's Matte Four Coat by Angelus. We will leave a link in the uh, description to make it easy for you guys. And I definitely recommend getting a decent paintbrush. By all means, don't go spend sixty dollars on a brush like your Picasso. But this is a okay. This is Blick, Studio, Synthetic, Bright, I don't even know what number. Uh, depends what you're, what you're doing, but I have a couple different brushes, and this is one of my, my thinner ones. Um, so yeah, just a really quick recap. We did all the black portions. We did not do the red. It's pretty matte. I like how it looks. So this basically is nice and flat black, as you guys can see, even down to the heel. Um, if you need more than one coat, if you feel like, oh, this doesn't look right, I'm going to do another coat. Just go over it and go over it with a thin amount. Don't go crazy. Don't panic. Just go over it with a thin amount. Uh, you probably could take like a high number, like 2,500, 3,000 grit sandpaper and smoothen it out. You know, just take that top surface off if you really wanted to, you know, just try to redo it. Um, that should be fine as well. Um, but again, thin coats, it looks great. You know, and I look at the OG, it's pretty spot on you know it looks really good just remember you know in those early shots how glossy it was 
this looks great now, you know. The OG is nice and matte finished. And once again, our retro here, it's nice matte finish. Again, this isn't dried all the way. It probably needs a little more time, but it looks really good. I'm very happy with the results. And uh, any glossy midsole paint, I'm just going to zap away for now on. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, we will have some more stuff coming soon. Maybe some more comparisons or pickups. But yeah, it was fun doing something different like uh, the leather talk last uh, the last video. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at OG or Bust. We'll see you very soon.